You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Welcome to the Doug Bellcast. And now, here is your host, the star of Ring My Bell, Doug Bell. What's up? It's, uh, hey, it's Bell. It's been, I know it's been a little while. Um, I've been uh, just, just like so many opportunities have been uh, coming my way. I've been like really trying to just like feel the opportunities um, and uh, see what's legit and what's not, blah, 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 what's just, you know, politics and everything's being like political. Uh, but before I start, like I got this shirt up. Look at this. How cool is that? It's uh, Dawn of the Doug. <laughs> um, it's cool. And, uh, Chip told me that uh, if I uh, if I help move a few units, there might be a few Muldoons in it for Bell. So if you want to grab one, might be a few extra Muldoons for Bell, and I could use that to kind of like parlay into getting uh, the show back on the air. Ba ba ba. I mean, it, oh, same. I didn't forget. I was even drinking that. It's cool, right? Tell them it's Bell. I was, uh, it's funny, I was listening to some hip hop before. Like, you know, I like hip hop from way back. Uh, like old, like uh, Run DMC. Like, I'm a real fan too. I seen, uh, I seen, uh, uh, who's the singer? Run. I seen Run. And I go up to him and I go, I'm such, I'm a huge fan. I go, that song you do, Aerosmith, was so good. Uh, it's the best thing you ever did. The lyrics were good, and blah, blah, blah. And uh, I was like, uh, I was like, I was fine. I think I made him laugh too because he was wearing like shoes. So I go, Where's your uh, Adidas? I think I said like that. You know, I point down to the shoes. I go, Where's your uh, Adidas? You know, it was cool. It was funny. He was with some guy who kind of checked me out. You know, like he knew. Uh, I was a fan from way back. But uh, I seen, I was, uh, I seen uh, uh, Snoop, Snoop Dogg. People have been asking me to tell the Snoop Dogg story. Back around right after, ring my bell, went off the air. Uh, back around 2008, this is after off, it's off the air a couple of years, and uh, Snoop's doing this interview, right? So he's doing this interview, blah, 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 and I know a girl who works security at this place. It was over at, uh, I forget the channel, but it was like Mark Hoppus, he's Excuse me, cut that. I'm sorry. Mark Hoppus used to do that show and he was inter- interviewing uh, Snoop. So someone tells me, like, yeah, I hear Snoop's like a Ring My Bell fan, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, I'm going to surprise him. Like, he's going to go crazy when he sees me. I'm just going to, boom, pop in there and he's going to, it's going to like make his day, you know, maybe even uh, spark up in uh, a, a Dewey Doobie, a Dewey Doobie with, uh, with Snoop. So he's in the dressing room, but blah, 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 I can hear him. They're all like playing PlayStation or whatever they're doing, waiting, you know, hanging out. So I stand outside, I go like this outside the door. I'm ringing the bell, right? And I know he's going to go crazy if he hears it. But they're all like uh, playing the music real loud. No one hears it, right? So I crack the door and I just put the bell in and you see her. I do like that, you know, and uh, I should have told him I was coming because security slammed the door on my hand uh, and actually uh, they uh, they broke these three fingers. They slammed the door on my hand uh, and the bell just kind of like just kind of fell. Uh, so they opened the door. They're like, bah, 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 what is this? And so I walk in. I don't tell him my hands broke. I don't know, but I, I got to hold the bell like this now. So I can't even I can't, I can't even ring it right. And Snoop's over there, but boom, he's playing. And I go, um, I go, hey, man, you know, like I get his attention. I go, hey, man, it's Bell, you know, I go like that, you know. Uh, he looks up like he's checking me out to see who's this guy, what's this guy about, you know. But then I go ring my bell, and I get the bell, and I'm, 
you know, like that I'm doing. And uh, he looks like he doesn't know what I'm talking about, but I figure he's probably just so toasty, you know? So uh, his manager's there. He goes, can we help you with something? What do you need? And I go, uh, I go up. Uh, I just thought I'd come in here. I said, I just thought I'd come in here and puff up with the dog. That's what I said. I want to puff up with the dog, you know? Uh, and manager goes, nah, we got to get ready for the show. You can't be a... I just want to puff up with the dog. Let me puff up, right? And then uh, uh, he goes, uh, I go, I go, what do you, I go, hey, is this, uh, I go, I bet, it, I bet there's chronic. I go to him like that. I go, I bet there's chronic. You know, he's playing the game. Um, and he looks up like that. And then like he crashes. He plays like he hears chronic. He looks up and he crashes. Um, and he, I think that like made him a little angry. Goes, what the fuck you want, man? I'm like, oh, I'm just, I go, uh, I go, if you want a, a puff of duber, uh, I brought some good shit. I, I brought like a duber uh, to puff up with, uh, with Snoop. Um, and he goes, no, nah, man, I got my own. I go, dude, this is, uh, this makes chronic look, what I say, man, this makes chronic look like uh, potato chips. I think I said to him, you know. Uh, and so I, I puff it up, bah, bah, I'm puffing. And uh, they made me put it out because they said it didn't it smell like bad. It didn't smell good. It smelled like bad, uh, bad cheap. Um, but I, cause I used to want to be a rapper too. It's so funny. I told him, I go, dude, you're an inspiration because uh, uh, I go, I used to, I used to drop. When I say I used to, uh, I used to pop a few rhymes off. You know, I told him that, you know what I mean? And the music's playing, I'm doing like this, you know, cause again, I'm feeling no pain. Boom, 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 boom. Like I kind of like dance like that, like boom, 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 boom. Pop, I pop back. So I go, uh, he goes, let me hear some. And I go, all right, but just don't tell Martha Stewart because she might get me thrown in jail. You know, I said like that, you know. Uh, but I guess that was a, like a bad, bad subject because nobody laughed. I go, don't tell Martha Stewart. She, uh, so I go like, uh, uh, I think I go, uh, yo, my name is Doug Bell. I'm here to give you hell. And if you ring my bell, I'll send you straight to Hizzle. I go, Hizzle. I go like that, you know. Boom. Uh, I said, Hizzle. And, he, and nobody said nothing. He goes, that's it? And I go, nah, but man, I like to do them like slow. I go, like, I like to drink in the scenery and like come up with a rhyme. I go, it looks like y'all are playing PlayStation. And I said something about, uh, I would play it too in the U.S. nation, some shit like that. It was really cool though. I was like, pop, pop. It was kind of popping off a little bit because I was like a little cheaped up. Um, but I told him like how much I liked his music, and I was like, dude, you're so cool. Like the way you just kind of hang out. I'm like, me and you ought to do some kind of like cool project together. Um, and all they're all looking at me, you know. Um, and the guy takes the video camera out. He goes, let me hear you rap again. And uh, one of the guys are laughing in the back, but I'm like, he probably knows, like, this is something special. He goes, just, what do you say? Uh, I go, oh, I go, <laughs> it's funny too. I go, uh, I go to pick up, I go, hold on, but I get off the floor. I go, sorry, I dropped my rhymes. I dropped a rhyme, you know, uh, like that. I told him, I'm a comedian, I told him. Uh, he goes, what, what? I go, no, I dropped a rhyme, you know, but nobody, uh, one of the guys told me I should leave. He goes, you should leave. And the guy goes, no, no, I got to get this on film. So I'm like, this guy's probably going to ring my bell, fam, blah, blah, blah. So I got the bell I'm doing like this. And I go, something about, uh, I, you know, my name is Dougie Bell. Um, uh, in hell I dwell. Uh, something about, uh, uh, what I say? I said, showbiz trip me, but I never fell. I did something like that, you know like about my own, my own life, my own personal experience, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it was cool. It was cool. Um, but then they asked me to leave, so I left. But he wouldn't let me smoke. I, I was like, why don't you give me some doobie? And he goes, no. Uh, so I, I just walked outside. But before I went out, I was like, dude, I was like, me know how good um, your yeah, yeah music is. Like, I just let him know that I was kind of down. Me, me know 
like that. I did like that, you know. Um, and the guy just kind of closed the door while I was talking, but I think he thought I was done. But um, it was cool though, like for shizzle. Uh, <laughs> for shizzle it was so cool i tried doing something like that like uh um you know what, what the bell i was like tossing in bell all the time like you guys know bell lion is like if you stare at somebody but i would say something like uh, what the bell is going on or i would say like uh hey uh hey uh you know this place i mean this place is belled out like belled out man it was like really decked out and really cool uh, what the bell meant, bell, uh, stuff like that. Like I was kind of bringing on my own language. And I, I was going to tell them that, but they closed the door. Um, and uh, I watched the show. I watched them do the interview. I'm standing in the back. And I do this. He looks over. He sees me. I go, like, I, like I'm cheaping up. You know, he's crying. He laughs. You know, uh, I had a pen. I did it with a pen. Like, I do like that, you know. Uh, and I do, it's funny, I just do that right now. It, it reminds me of, uh, I used to, like, a lot, like, a lot of people told me when I was younger, I was kind of like, I remind them of Marlon Brando a little bit. Huh. You know, I do like that, you know. Uh, I did that in my act a little bit. I would do, like, The Godfather. I would open up. I'd go, I'm, I'm going um, to tell you some jokes you can't refuse. i go like that to the crowd. i go, I'm going to tell you some jokes you can't refuse. You know, and it was a pretty good... Uh, Considering I never went to like impression school or any of that stuff, um, it was cool. You know, I'm going to tell you some jokes your camera feels. Um, Al Pacino, I like a lot. I, Al Pacino, uh, he was in The Godfather. Uh, I'm, Dick Tracy, he was in Al Godfather, Dick Tracy. But he's not that tall. I seen him, right? I, I was out and I seen him and I go, uh, I look at him and I, I, he's walking out of this, um, he's walking out of Barney's. He's out in LA in Barney's, right? So I mean, I see Barney's. I go, I love you, you love me. You know, I, I think I'll get like a smile out of him, you know. They go, what are you talking about? Yeah, because I do Pacino too. He goes, what are you talking about? And I go, uh, Barney's. I go, I love you. I go, what if Don Corleone was here? I said, Mac I love you, you love me, make you enough for that Bonnie can't refuse. I said something like that to him, you know, but he was getting in a car. So uh, I noticed his shoes were weird. I stopped, I go, how you get with your shoes with this girl, right? This pretty girl. Uh, and, and I go, what, why your shoes got these things on the bottom? I go, you ought to take them back, dude. I go, Al, those are no good. Uh, and he tries it, and the girl goes, you're being rude. I go, whoa, whoa. I go, Al. Tell, tell, I go, I go, tell Kay, we're going to close the door in her face. Uh, it was like the end of part two. They did that. I go, I'm just trying to like tell you that your shoes got something on them. I think they're like not good. Um, she goes, what do you mean? So she comes over, she looks at his shoes. Uh, and she sees he got these, these got these things in the back. She goes, what are those? Um, and he's trying to get in a car and she goes, you wear lifts? I didn't know what they were called. I thought the shoes were defective. And he goes, ah, and she goes, you wear lifts? Like she said that and I could tell he was embarrassed. Uh, but I go, those are broken. I start pointing, I'm getting loud at this point. I'm like, you take them back, Al. Uh, but then I, I do like, uh, cause the girl's like, she, I can see it bothers her. Like that his shoes are defective. So I go, dude, you know who this guy is? You ever see Injustice for All? I go, I'll do this, do it. You're out of order. And he closes the door while I'm talking. But uh, the girl, I could tell she got in and she starts, like, they're arguing. Um, but I didn't mean to start like a stinker, a stinkeroo. I was just going like, hey, you know, what do you want me to tell you? It's, it, I, I was just trying to be like, uh, uh, um, they're going to make you an offer. That, that tell you some jokes you can't refuse. You know, stuff like that is kind of funny. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I really wish, uh, I was out there too. It was Barney's is, uh, over by us, uh, Will Shire. And, uh, I seen Kareem, uh, Kareem, uh, Kareem Jabbar. I seen Kareem Jabbar out there. He's walking and, uh, you know, he's trying not to talk to people, whatever he's buying. And I go, oh, uh, they're going to have to, uh, I go, I hope they got a long code for you. <laughs> I'm just trying to make him laugh. You know, he looks, 
I go, hope it's a long coat. <laughs> and I do like this. <laughs> yeah, I start sky hooking, you know. I'm doing like that. I go, hey. You know, like that. You know, I got a pair of socks. I go, foot. You know, like a pair of, uh, like socks I was going to buy. But he kind of looked. And I go, uh, go all kidding aside, man. You think Jordan's going to break your record or what? Because he has the most points ever in NBA history. I go, oh, no, don't bullshit me. Uh, and he goes, get me, because I can't talk. I go, come on, man, let's be between you and me. And he's like, Jordan retired years ago. I'm like, yeah, but what if he comes back? He might come back, blah, blah, blah. But um, he was kind of not happy to talk to me. But I just started asking him about, like, what kind of guy is Magic Johnson? I asked him that, too. I'm like, dude, do you ever see Larry Bird? Uh, and I told him, like, I was a fan. I'm a Kareem uh, Jabbar fan. I told him, like, that's, I, I'm like, dude, you do the sky hook, and it's so cool. Um, and I was like, yeah, we're going to come back, maybe make a comeback and play again. Uh, but he goes, nah, you know, and finally he just left. Um, but it was cool. I mean, uh, I wanted to tell him about ring my bell, blah, 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 but I just, <sighs> give us a time. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm tired. I was on a bus today and it was hot like the inside of a uh, potato sack on that bus. And I was like out of my mind <laughs> and it really made me tired. Um, but like, you know, you get yourself like a cup, put a cup of pop, boom, whatever. But uh, there might be a few Muldoons in it for Bell. And I hope nobody's mad at that Pacino store. I met him a couple of times. He was mad. I'll tell you the other next time. But uh Oh, that lifts thing, I felt so bad about. I thought his shoes were defective. I, I didn't mean to get him like the girl who's so embarrassed, too. He was, what? Oh, oh, yeah, I'll never forget that. As soon as he says that, he goes, wow, he didn't know what to say. And I could tell, like, oh, that's probably a, a touch. He's, oh. And then I go to him. I forgot about this. I go to him. I go, and dude, how come your hair looks so much different than the other? I seen you on an interview. Why is your hair so much different now? And she looks at it. She goes, wait, well, yeah, what is it? She goes, you wearing a, you wearing a wig? He goes, ah, what do you mean? Like, I, I'm like, oh, I'm like, that's, I shouldn't have said that. Cause I think I got her looking at his shoes and the hair. Um, so I think like she got mad at him and he got mad at me. And he goes, what do you want? He said, you know, cause you know, Pacino, I, I used to do my answer, what do you want? He does like one of them. And I go, uh, I go, sorry, I'm out of order. She said, I'm trying to crack him up, but um, he had a nice car. He had a nice car, a little sports car, not very big. Um, but I felt really bad, though, like, especially with the hair when I pointed that out. Because uh, she goes, you wearing a wig? And I look and I go, oh, shit. I go, really, is it? I'm like, it's cool if it is. It's a good wig. Uh, and, and, you know, me and her just kind of looking at it. And he's sitting in there. And he tells her, get in the car, you know, and then they start shouting at each other. I felt kind of bad, you know, uh, but the shoes and the hair, I just, I was just trying to help. I was trying to help. But anyway, so if you see him, tell him I'm sorry and tell him like, you know, Bella, I belled up. Uh, but seriously, get like one of these or maybe a shirt and, uh, you know, maybe Chip will throw a few Muldoons to Bell and, uh, hey, fly wild and stay gold. You can ring Doug's bell, ring Doug's bell, Doug's bell, ring Doug's bell. You can ring Doug's bell, ring Doug's bell, Doug's bell, ring Doug's bell.